This is your update two on wintry storm Xanto. The questions on the storm. Where will the storm go? How much snow will fall from it? Where is the storm located and how long will the storm last? Most if not all of these questions will be answered in this video. Enjoy! The information on the storm. Winter storm Xanto will bring blizzard conditions, heavy snow, and ice to the northern plains, upper midwest, and northern New England. Here are the current watches, warnings, and advisories. There are winter storm watches in parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Blizzard warnings are in parts of Kansas, Colorado, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Winter weather advisories in parts of Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, North and North Dakota. Winter storm warnings in parts of Washington, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Nebraska, the Dakotas, and Wyoming. I think I said that already. Current radar shows that Xanto is spreading snow in parts of the Cascades and Northern Sierra, also in the Rockies and some of the Wasatch in Utah. The storm will begin to slide eastward into tonight, bringing more, some more snow into the upper Midwest and northern plains. Current wind speeds in the area are very high. There could even be some blizzard conditions in parts of the west. Highest gust is 43 miles an hour in southeastern Idaho, but the winds are pretty gusty and they will stay that way even into the northern plains and upper Midwest. Thursday, April 12th, snow and wind will be present in the north central Rockies, northern plains, Cascades, far northern Sierra, and the upper Midwest. Blizzard conditions are possible in northeastern Wyoming and western South Dakota. You can see in the bottom right that snow is possible in scattered locations across the rest mostly in the higher elevations, and then the storm will begin to slide into North Dakota and South Dakota. And then there is going to be a mix in some scattered locations across the west, as usual, and parts of North Dakota, and then rain in like valleys and lower elevations. Friday, April 13th, snow and wind will occur in the north central Rockies, Dakotas, Nebraska, north central Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and northern Michigan. Blizzard conditions are possible in eastern Wyoming, western South Dakota, western Nebraska, and northeastern Colorado. Ice or a mix is possible in southern Minnesota, north central Wisconsin, and northern Michigan. Also, another thing is that there could be um, some severe weather from southern Missouri, maybe even north of there down into Texas, so just be aware of that, but there could be blizzard conditions from South Dakota into northeastern Colorado, and snow will fall from Utah and Colorado up into the Dakotas and into northern Michigan. There will be a mix from northeastern uh, Colorado into the Dakotas and sliding over into northern Michigan, and then showers and thunderstorms south and east of there. Saturday, April 14th, snow and wind will resume from eastern South Dakota and eastern Nebraska to the upper Mississippi Valley and northern Great Lakes. A mix or ice is possible in the central Great Lakes, north central upstate New York, northern New England, southern Minnesota, south central Wisconsin, and central Michigan. There will be snow from northern Kansas into the Dakotas, stretching all the way over into Maine. There will be a mix and some ice from northeastern Kansas up into Wisconsin, all the way over into Maine, and then showers and thunderstorms south of there. Sunday to Tuesday, April 15th to 17th. Sunday, snow and wind will continue in the upper Midwest, northern Great Lakes, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. A mix is possible in lower Michigan, upstate New York, and northern New England. You can see in the bottom right, there will be snow from Missouri, up into Minnesota, Wisconsin, stretching all the way to Maine, a mix from Missouri to Maine as well, and showers and thunderstorms south of there. Monday, snow will still continue in western Great Lakes with a mix in ice in northern New England. Tuesday, snow will fall in the Appalachians, western Pennsylvania, west central upstate New York, and northern New England. Snowfall forecast. More than a foot of snow is possible in the Cascades, Olympic Mountains of Washington, Northern Rockies, South Dakota, Nebraska, Northeastern Wisconsin, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, and Northern Lower Michigan. 
more than six inches of snow is possible in west central Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, northern Michigan, Adirondacks, and northern Maine. You can see in the west, high snow, the most snow will be in the Cascades, in the northern Rockies, and in a big swap in South Dakota, Wisconsin, no, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Minnesota. But the, the lower elevations you go, the less snow. But in the, in the Midwest, in the Northeast, you can see the heaviest snow will be in Minnesota, um, and Wisconsin, and mostly Michigan. There will also be a good amount of snow in northern New York, northern Vermont, northern, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. What I'm still trying to digest is that there's going to be so much snow in northern Michigan in the middle of April. In the middle of April, guys, it's crazy. Still, it's just crazy in the middle of April over two feet of snow. Here are the winter storm names of 2017 and 18. We've gone from Aiden to Santo. The next name on the list is Yvonne, followed by Zoe. Almost done. If you need more information, you should visit the Weather Channel at the link below. There will be another update on winter storm Santo tomorrow, which will be Friday, April 13th, 2018. Today's shout out is It's Me, Jack. Um, go ahead and check out his channel. He's got lots of amazing weather videos. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and prepare for winter storm Xanto.